Hey, this is Mike at DownPepperTreeLane.com. Please like and subscribe to the channel and check out my store at DownPepperTreeLane.com. I have cool vintage and collectibles and jewelry. Okay, so let's check out the living room I have designed at the Mountain Getaway Cabin. I chose to put in luxury vinyl plank. It's not wood, but it certainly looks like wood with all of the details like knots and little cracks. It's lovely. I chose like a medium cherry and saved a lot of money and it's very practical. Now with this huge wood floor, I wanted to anchor the space. So I put in a beautiful red rug that's vaguely Asian, not really, just a touch. And it's centered right below my windows with all of the beautiful light and the sunrises, the trees and the sunset. That is the focal point for the room. You want to design your rooms around windows and light and not block any doors as well. So that's where one would start. Now around, and I'm doing this in two parts, by the way, I'm doing this section first. Um, around the beautiful rug, then you anchor your furniture. So I love rocking chairs. I, they help me meditate and relax. I strongly recommend them to give you that little activity to clear your mind. Incredible vintage table. I got at a shop locally and um, really nice finish and look at the detail on the legs um, almost like a Queen Anne type of thing beautiful and a brass old-fashioned scale that is another focal point for this table I paid extra for it but I love it it's unique very unusual people love to kind of Play with the scale back and forth. It's interactive and comment on it. Holly berries are free. A lot of you have holly berry bushes. Just clip them out. Put them there. Coasters are a must because they protect your wood. You wouldn't believe how many people will put a Dr. Pepper can right on your wood. It blows my mind. So keep the, keep the coasters everywhere. And look what I found. I mean, this set of coasters is almost like an art piece in itself so it enhances the look of the table really nice pop of fancy green glass and i like to mix in uh, colored glass everywhere it goes back to the 1920s and 30s and 40s and look at the detail on that glass just incredible and it's functional as a money dish as well I bought a set of them so the other one is for cinnamon candies and I just put one kind of candy in I like the way the red plays off the green even my scale has some candies in there so I'm making it functional um, I do throw in a holiday decoration it is near Valentine's Day so I will throw in little pieces like that as we go through the year this was a really great little lamp that you put a votive candle inside of it and gives off a glow at night. And look at the beads. Really cool little beads. I just look for details like that when I'm buying my beautiful pieces of uh, vintage and antiques uh, to make my space uh, lovely and incredible. Uh, this is a great sturdy chair, uh, probably from the 1930s. Look at the detail on the legs there. Um, beautiful patina. And I like the stripes. It's the only piece of striped furniture I have in here. It's okay to have variety to mix and match. Um, that's all right. Now, a friend Mike gave me this incredible dresser. It's sturdy. It's the focal point for the room. And you do want one expensive or beautiful piece of furniture as a focal point. And then you can kind of cheat on a lot of other things. <laughs> but uh, look at how functional it is with all of the drawers, how much it will hold. And it helps me out so much with organization. 
and a huge tabletop here where I can add all kinds of things. With wood, I like to soften it up with some ivy or a plant. That's how I start usually. And I need light over there, so I found a mid-century modern lamp. That's probably my favorite era is mid-century modern. Um, a beautiful whiskey bottle there. You can use um, bottles of booze, you know, as decorative. And, um, you know, if your guest wants a shot late at night, uh, there you are. You have it. Um, this is a pewter tray. It says, give us this day our daily bread. I grew up with that tray. My parents had one of those. So I found one like it at an estate sale. I grabbed it. And uh, just, I love stones. Here's a stone heart there. And some more of that holly berry. Once again, you can just cut off, you know, little branches from your trees outside and mix in nature. And it's free. Um, this is a, a beautiful tray. Look at the scenery there. I, I love this rich detail. So I do collect uh, trays, um, and then this is an old Avon uh, ca um, container, this like a quail, and so there is actually perfume in there. Probably pretty heavy of alcohol, but it might be usable. I bought this candy just for the di uh, just for the tin. <laughs> Sometimes I will buy things like candies just because I like the tin so much. And here's another Avon old car. I do here. I do collect some of the Avon perfume um, cases that they sold in the '60s and '70s. That's a little collection I have. Honeybees are real popular right now, so I threw in. I had I had this empty corner. I didn't know what to do with it, so it's just a little um, little porcelain piece there for fun and. Um, you can lay your keys on it or something. Um, these really cool um, boxes you can get at Michael's. Here's a map of the world there. Because I wanted to lift this plant up. It, I love, I bought it actually for the the brass container. That I mean, I love that. That's mid-century modern. And the silk flowers look pretty real. Some look really plasticky and fake. Some look real. It's You just got to find them. And then a little green bottle in the corner with uh, silk rose. Just I just had nothing in that corner. I needed just a little something. So uh, I just love, this is one of my favorite um, flower displays there. I take it everywhere. Um, I bought three of these, these um, old-fashioned... They're like a uh, heavy, almost like a lead type of a metal of an old buggy. Um, just reminds me of my grandparents would talk about cars like these. And uh, it just filled up a little empty space there. I wanted something different, not just all pictures and paintings. Yes, that's fine to have pictures, but also do other things with your wall space. Put in a clock, put in a shelf, put in a mirror. Put in a decorative, very unique piece. No one else is going to have that. That's something different and unique that only you have. Um, I love Thomas Kincaid style art. This is not Kincaid, but I love old fashioned country villages. And I just find myself wanting to walk into the painting. And I want pictures that I can feel like I can just walk into and join another world. <laughs> And like this old cobblestone village, uh, that's my kind of art. And the matting and framing is beautiful and it has patina. Very nice. Uh, this is the classic, you know, the bowl of fruit there. Um, I just thought it was vintage and really classic and a little bit sad. All of my artwork is a little bit, has a, a little dampness or grayness or sadness to it. I don't know why. But I like melancholy art. I, I, it's just something I'm drawn to. I always have been. Okay, now here's a f nod to farmhouse, which is so popular. And a big pop of dark red there. With Everybody likes hearts. But I chose to hang it on a hook. I wanted it to pop out from the wall and not just be even with everything else. You can do some 3D type things that are really cool. And... Um, I'm going to 
leave it with this uh, for the first part is this incredible metallic sculpture, really beautiful art, and it's an old mill with all these, like I said, kind of trees in winter that are a little bit, a little bit slightly sad and an old rusted mill that's falling apart, but I love it. There's something about that that is my kind of style and it's rustic. It fills up this giant white space. It needs a big piece of art. Don't put some little picture or something on a giant wall. You have to have, go big, go big and go bold or go home. <laughs> and it needs a big statement because of this giant vaulted ceiling. And I love vaulted ceilings. I totally recommend if you're gonna buy a second home or any kind of home, get a huge vaulted ceiling, try to get one. And this has been in my family a long time. It means a lot to me over 50 years. And it just brings back beautiful memories of Christmases and celebrations in my home with my grandparents, etc. It's it's really important to keep family heirlooms. They they give your life a lot of meaning and give me comfort and joy for those that have passed on, like my parents. All right, I'll leave it at that. Mike D at downpeppertreelane.com. Please go to the shop on eBay. Uh, I have really cool vintage items and jewelry, all kinds of fun things. And uh, like and subscribe and be a patron to really support my work and my joy and my passion that I want to freely share with you. And um, I'll leave it at that. Take care. Bye-bye.